We put a satellite linked time depth recording transmitter on Salem to be able to keep track of her movements when she was gone from here. Because we didn't have any idea where she'd come from initially, we needed to know where she was. And should there be the need for us to intervene, we need to be able to get to her to be able to do that. The tag itself is operated by a single AA battery. It'll transmit for several months. It collects data on where the dolphin is and how deep the dolphin is diving, how long the dolphin is staying down. So we get behavioral data even without watching her. And it will let us know what she's doing no matter where she is around the Gulf of Mexico. And it's quite fortunate that we did put this tag on her because much to our surprise, she's gone pretty far out in the Gulf of Mexico so far. Moat is located right about here. We transported her by boat up to the north end of Anna Maria Island out of the Gulf and released her. And she initially traveled north over the West Florida Shelf and then offshore pretty steadily until as of yesterday, she was actually beyond the edge of the West Florida Shelf and out into some of the deepest waters of the Gulf of Mexico where it's over 3,000 meters deep. We've been responsible for follow-up monitoring of moats rehabilitated and rescued dolphins from the very start of the Dolphin Hospital here at Moat back in the 1990s. Over the years, the technology has changed. It's improved dramatically to the point where we now have the very small transmitters such as the one that went on Salem. The main purpose behind this is to see whether or not the rehabilitation efforts, which are very costly, time-consuming, and labor-intensive, are worthwhile. Are we able to keep track of the animal long enough to know that it actually was able to survive on its own once it went back into the wild? And there are very few ways to do that, especially with an animal that goes offshore. Over time, we amass the records from all these various species and individuals that have been released, and we can determine things like, well, what's the threshold that we can use for declaring success? In the early days of rehabilitation, many facilities said, we released it, we got it out of the hospital, therefore it's a success. But then the animals would show back up on a beach again, and clearly it wasn't a success. This has allowed us to determine that if a dolphin is back out in the wild for approximately six weeks, there's a very good chance it's going to continue indefinitely out there and we can consider it to be a success. And what we start seeing from the animal after that time is probably reflective of what that species, what that individual does as a natural individual, not one who is recently out of a rehabilitation situation.